Hey everyone, Ryan here, and, well, I want to make, like, desktop sh shortcuts like this, right? With, but they require, like, tons of complicated stuff, right? And I just had no idea how to do it. I couldn't find any tutorials on YouTube that just went in depth and stuff. So, here I am making the perfect tutorial for this. So, uh, it's gonna look something like this, but, and that's not very beautiful, but whatever. I, I can't complain, okay? So you can remove that, and you can also add it to favorites, which is my favorite part. We're gonna be making the uh, short. We're gonna be making a shortcut for uh, this app right here, LMS, which is a nice little music making software. So let's do that right now. So uh, go into Nautilus. Okay, so now we need to find the dot uh, local file, and then and if you can't find the dot local file, go here and tick uh, show hidden files, and that will show it. So local share applications now we need to create a dot desktop file i simply just uh duplicated one of my uh, old desktop files and put it right here oh you don't need any of that yet because we're going to start from the beginning so i can teach you so you want to start with that bra you want to start with brackets and go desktop entry i think i think i don't know the magic science to all this but i think this tells the computer that it's a desktop entry or like a dot desktop file. I'm not sure, okay? I just know how to do it and that's that's fine with me. So there's mainly like four things you really want. Well, in my opinion, which is the name. Of the, now all these are self-explanatory. The name, I think, is what names it. So if I bring my mouse and hover over this, it says shortcut. If I named it, if I, if I edited the file for this and named it like poop or something, it would come out as poop, I believe. So the name would be a uh, LMS in caps because why not? And then application type. That's not how you do it. I think it's just type. Yeah, type and then application because I'm doing an applic. I'm uh, making the shortcut for an application. And then we need the two most important things: the executable. Executable equals the path to the executable. So, slash home, slash me, slash, where did I put it again? Oh, yes, I have a very weird way of organizing this, but seeing as it's my desktop, I'll just go to my desktop, and then slash LMS. There we go. So now it knows where to find the executable. And I'll need an icon, because that is very important. Icon equals, and actually, I do not have an icon right now. So let me actually quickly go go grab one from... The World Wide Web. All right, I have also saved this to uh, my desktop, and now I will open up my text editor again, and I'll just copy this, the basic path, the path, paste it, delete LMS, and then write in the name of the file, which was what was it again? I literally just saves this LMS icon dot PNG. LMS icon dot png and there you go that is literally all you need but if you're making something like there there's a ton of other stuff okay but this is the basic stuff and now we hit save we can exit and now i literally just closed out the window but we need to go back to our amazing thing luckily i have a bookmark right here straight to applications find l m l m m s and we're actually gonna copy the file and paste it on the desktop. Aha, now we go to properties, and now we got allow executing the file as a program, or else it's just gonna open it up in a text editor. And now we right click on this, and we click allow launching. This means it's allowed to launch, and there we go, look at that. It's taken the profile picture, and it's got a little like launch icon next to this, and I double click on it, and there it is. Look at that. And yeah, so now, also, you can go right up here, type in LMS, and there it is. And you can add it to favorites. That is just... Man, it took me so long to figure this out. And it's actually really simple, but, you know. My channel title is literally, literally Ryan the Idiot, so I'm not the brightest person. But I did it. I'm proud of myself, and I hope you guys uh, learned how to do this too. And yeah, that's going to be it for this video. I'll see you guys all in a different video. Goodbye.
Bye.